All right, guys, it's Sunday. It's quarter after two. Uh, got my frame painted. Steering box back on. Shaft back in. Uh, painted the frame with a brush this time. And, you know, it don't look... First I thought, you know, I don't know. But once I started brushing it and seeing it looks okay. I mean, there's the steering box, which was sprayed. And there's the frame, which was brushed. So it's going to be okay and now if I get it marked up I can just go in and uh, touch it up with the brush again so they'll keep it clean and the frame never was what you call super smooth anyway so I also I cut a brush off and I went down in here as far as I get could get my arm and like I said I cut the handle off so it made it short and got some paint down in there and I've been just installing the little tidbits on this transmission and the motor like the fittings for the lines and the kick down cable and the dipstick and the modulator valve and stuff like that and uh, what I'm about to do now is uh, take that centerpiece off find some bolts and so I can lift this thing and set her back in here. Um, lots of birds kicking around still. So, but I'm gonna give you a shot. We had one miserable week here. It's been really hectic and miserable. We uh, ended up getting another snowstorm. Uh, we had the one last weekend, then we had one Wednesday that dropped at least a foot on us. And uh, today we're getting sleet and ice and rain and it's just miserable out and Wednesday I didn't go to work and that car broke down the Honda Accord the heater control valve let go we lost all the antifreeze we didn't heat her up though but uh, I had that car squeezed in here I had the Nova pushed over to this side and got it squeezed in and uh, let's see There's the part there that went. Um, it was leaking out through that valve, right, right on the side there. Let's see if I can give you a better shot. Show you what happened. Ever since we got the car, well, not ever since, but ever since she's been using the heater, that little arm come off right there. One way it's open, one way it's closed. Uh, but this fall when she started using the heater she said it didn't have a very good heater in it and uh well i didn't know what was wrong so i asked my buddy and he said this here break right there and that's exactly what happened and there's i'll show you that's all the fluid that was getting through for the heater so now she'll cook you right out so uh we were lucky this they had this part in stock because we needed it that day and uh, um, I did price it online it was like twenty dollars and something and uh, but at the Honda car, uh, dealer it was 45 so wasn't too bad we had to have it right then and there but uh, you see it's all rusted up wasn't a bad job to change it was just lost all our antifreeze and stuff like that so but uh, we still haven't received the parts we ordered from Rock Auto yet and it's, they were shipped out on the 12th so they're not here yet and she checked today and they're they're in Ontario, Concord, Ontario so should be here pretty soon this week so anyways this is what I'm doing and uh, yesterday uh, we had our Christmas dinner with all our kids and stuff so that was pretty hectic it was fun but wow 24, 25 people and 11 of them were little kids so it was, it was noisy so anyways uh i'm going to turn the camera back on here once i get that lowered down in i put uh foam on the tail shaft foundation foam and i'm just going to guide it in there slow i got to open my door and push the car back so i can get the motor picked up and then well I got the tarp on there so it doesn't get all wet so it's not really cold so that's a good thing 
but it uh, won't take me long to get it setting down in there and then I can roll it. As soon as I get it over the car, I can start rolling the car ahead and get it in there. So I'll be back here in a few and uh, we'll get a shot of how she looks sitting under there. This is taking a long while, so I'm trying to be real careful, trying not to mark up the paint. Oh yeah, somebody asked me a while back how it was going to go putting the bolts back in with uh, them paint it. Well, it's not going well. Uh, you can see that or not, but it is knocking the paint off. And all I'm going to do is uh, go back later and touch all the bolts up that I can see and uh, do it that way. But uh, some of them went in okay with the paint on them, and some of them didn't. So, and I was trying to be real careful. And this is why it's taking so long. So. And it took quite a while to put those motor mounts in because I put the bolts up through and put lock washers on them this side and not much room under there so it's a lot easier with the whole front end off I can tell you that. So I had to use magnets and can't see just had to feel my way through so I fed it up through with the magnet. Uh, this little guy right here I just put the for an example, I uh, would put the bolt on the end of the magnet like that, fish it up through, and get it started up through the hole. Then I uh, had another magnet, and I'd grab it on this end, so and then hold it there while I got the nut started. So they're nice and tight now. So and I put that thing back in because I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, I don't know that somebody painted it before the paint didn't stick very good to it So I just left it like that for now until I figure out what I can do with it. So anyways, I'll be back here uh, Once we get her setting down in Well guys, there she is sitting in there nothing's bolted on uh, Motor mounts are bolted in and uh, Cross member Transmission mounts in. I gotta get a new transmission mount. Uh, that one's still okay, but it's a little. You can see where the rubber's cracked a little, so I'm gonna get a new one of them. But I put the. Just set the carburetor, set the intake carburetor all on, because I was very curious whether or not it was gonna clear the hood. And I think it's just barely gonna make it. Um, Everything will be sucked down a little more, so I'll probably gain another eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, once everything is drawn down. And uh, I think it's going to be okay. I'll be able to use the carbon fiber hood for now. Uh, I still might try to build another hood, just just to see if I can do it. But for now, I just want to get this thing back together and running, and get the front end back on so I can start doing the body work. This might have to go up a little, I'm not sure. Like I said, I won't know that until everything's back together, so. That's it, everything just setting on here. Um, never bumped nothing, was lucky there. Uh, Sherry come out and helped me guide it down in there. So, next week, I get some time off, I'll just come out and start slowly. Putting her back together and uh, hopefully have no leaks when I'm done. I'm not sure. I'm going to carbon fiber that for sure. I'm not sure about that because it's got the timing thing there. I don't know how the mat's going to lay down, but I might uh, might try it. I'll just cut a slit maybe in it where the timing marks go and get the mat to lay down flat like uh, right here I'm not sure how that's gonna work out with this and sticking out so uh, that'll be an experiment so but uh, maybe I'll get another one to try it uh, I don't think I'll bother trying the chrome one so I know this one fits and it didn't leak so hopefully if I get the gaskets back in there right it won't leak as you see the intake is up a little so that's gonna give me even more room later so, but what I'm going by is that uh, stud sticking out there is just below the rubber on that cowl panel. So, 
and uh, so it, it, the hood I think has a little has some framework there so it should be okay fit for the air cleaner to fit up in there so that's her that took all day just to get that together and set back down in there but I'm so happy to see it down in there and uh, once I get her all bolted in I'll be able to set my distributor down I gotta grind it so it'll clear the thing there but as you can see I got all kinds of room for the distributor there to the firewall so she's looking good so and uh, I think it's going to look a lot better when I get the pulleys on, the water pump, and all the little black bits. So, but uh, I <laughs> never scratched nothing. That was amazing. So, but I had uh, foam on the tail shaft and everything like that. So, I don't know if you see under here or not. But, uh, yep, the cross member is in. And, uh, now I'm going to go under there and wipe that pan off because it's pretty uh, greasy looking. It's not leaking or anything. It's just uh, stuff from all over the years. Never been wiped off. Never ever had the chance to. So now I can do that. So but now the hole underneath the car looks pretty good. And the yellow without light shows up pretty good. So be nice for, for uh, working on it under here. Be able to see what's going on. That's one thing I liked about the yellow, instead of the black. So, and I'll get them plugged out, get new ones in, change the oil. I think I'll wipe down the oil pan, give it a paint job. I'm just going to paint it with a brush because it'll look all right. If, if it looks like this, it'll look all right down there. So, and like I said, that way I can fix her up if she gets scratched. So. But uh, she's looking better all the time. I just can't get back far enough to get a good look at it. So, anyways, I'm going to shut her down here and uh, clean the house and get a shower. It's four o'clock, so I've been out here all day, just just puttering away slowly, so I didn't mark everything up. So, anyways, guys, uh, if I don't see you, what's today? The twenty second. Uh, I probably won't see you again until after Christmas, so hope everybody has a real Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.